Hello beautiful people, it's me Trish and welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am going to be teaching you how I did this graduation pictorial makeup look. So if you want to know how I did this look, keep on watching. Hi guys, so since graduation season na ulit and hindi tayo, hindi tayo nakapunta ng school para mag... Kasi mostly, di ba, kapag may graduation pictorial, meron talaga mga makeup artists na hinahire ang school para makeupan sila. So ngayon, syempre hindi tayo... Hindi ganun yung setting natin ngayon. And then namin ko nakikita sa TikTok na kapag may mga makeup... Um, para mga makeup videos, ganun. May mga nagre-request na graduation... Ano daw? Graduation look. So, ito, ang gagawin kong graduation look is how I would do my graduation makeup. Um, you can also do this for your graduation makeup. It's very simple and easy. Parang, ano lang, subtle glam, ganun. Hindi subtle glam, pero fresh lang, ganun. It's very simple. Hindi naman yung super parang naka-winged eyeliner, ganun. Madali lang to. Before you start doing your graduation makeup, make sure na mag-practice kayo. Mag-practice kayo nung mag-practice hanggang sa malaman nyo kung ano yung look na bagay sa inyo. Tsaka, every time na mag-makeup kayo, mag-picture kayo, tignan nyo kung okay sa camera yung makeup, ganun. Kasi mostly, uh, minsan, okay yung makeup in person, pero pag on camera, iba na siya. So, ayun. Let's start. So, ayun. Tinabi ko muna yung mga, yung bahok ko. Kasi kailangan kapag magbe-makeup kayo, make sure that you have a clean canvas, you did your skincare already, walang bahok na nakasagabal sa mukha nyo. Kasi kapag, nas, parang pag may strand of hair na napunta sa mukha nyo, ganun, syempre mag-aano yun, maruruin yung makeup nyo. Make sure that your hair is away from your face and that you did your skincare. Skincare is very important before you put on makeup kasi parang ano lang yan, um, di ba kapag yung mga painters, kapag magpa-paint sila, nilalagyan mo nila ng primer or anything that would make the surface smooth para yung lapat ng paint maging mas maganda. So, this it's the same with makeup. You have to do your skincare, you have to prime para mas maganda yung lapat ng makeup sa mukha mo. Mas maganda yung lapat ng foundation, ng concealer, or anything that you will be putting on your face. So, I already did my skincare. I'm, I primed. Joke lang, hindi pa lang nag-prime. <laughs> yung skincare pa lang kasi ang unahin ko ay yung brows. You can do it either way. You can start with your base, then go on with your um, eye makeup. Pero I prefer nga doing my eye makeup first before my base. Para pag kung ngayon yung eyeshadow na meron kayo, masyadong maraming fallout. Or pag may mistake sa eyes, hindi na maapektuhan yung mukha niya. So, it will be easier for you to clean. Also, mas magiging malinis ang base niyo kapag you start with your eyes. Simulan ko ang kilay ko. For graduation pics, I prefer not to do bushy brows. Pero, it's up to you if you want to. But, I don't think bushy brows are meant for graduation pictures. You can still do it, but it depends. It depends kung bagay sa inyo, kung maganda ba sa camera. So, so for me, I won't do bushy brows. But, I also won't do the yung parang super dark thick brows. Yung sakto lang. Sakto ang may kilay lang. Ganun. So, you want to brush your hair upwards. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Eyebrow Pomade. Then, I create a line. I don't start sa front. Dito ako nagsistart sa may middle part. And after that, maglaline na rin ako dito sa taas. Then, I will fill this in. Then, I will lightly fill in yung... Kung ano yung natirang product nung nag-dip ako, nung pinag-fill in ko, yun lang din yung gagamitin ko para i-outline yung lower part. Then, I'll blend everything together with a spoolie. Ayan. So, yung nakikita nyo, yung mga nandito, yung mga product dito, bineblend ko siya dito sa harap. After doing our brows, we are going to clean it up with a concealer. I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So after 
carving out your brows after cleaning it, you can blend it all out. I'm using a fluffy brush, uh, my concealer brush, para ma blend. There. So after that, we are going to do the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm done priming the lids. I used the P. Louise primer. You can use a concealer, pero ito kasi, you don't need to set it. It's pag nilagay mo siya, pag binlend mo na yun, yun. Pero if you're going to use a concealer, make sure to set your eyeshadow because it is going to crease. So I will be using the Morphe 35O palette. We're only going to be using three shades. So I will start with my transition shade. I'll be using a fluffy brush to blend my transition shade. This is the color that I'll be using. If you have a palette of brown neutral colors, ganon earth tones, you can use that. So what I'm going to do is I will just blend out my transition shade dito sa my crease. Then after I do my transition shade, I'm going to deepen my crease with this color. Lagi ko lang dito sa my crease ko. Dito sa part na to. Then we're going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. Para walang harsh lines and mag blend yung ating transition shade and yung. Second color na nilagay natin. Make sure to blend the colors here. that we are going to go with this shade it's sort of a grayish brown we'll just put a tiny amount of color para lang magkaroon ng depth yung eyes natin so i'm using a tiny brush to deepen my crease then you know after that we are going to blend it out with fluffy brush. Yeah, so um it's up to you if you want to put something if you want to put a shimmer shimmery shade dito sa my inner corner ng sa inner part ng mata natin or you can use a matte lighter shade like these colors ito if you want you can put this colors atong mga light shades but it's all up to you if you want to put something shimmery on your eyes pero ito subtle subtle shimmer lang siya ito um we're going to be using this shade it's just a subtle shimmer hindi, hindi ko siya super gagawin shimmery because it might look bad on camera. Ipapat pat ko lang siya. glitter yung mga outer part you can just put eyeshadow again and blend it out again so that's it this 
is the eye makeup that you can do on your graduation. So we are done with the makeup. I'll do the rest of my eyes. Mamaya maglalagay din tayo dito ng, ng eyeshadow. I'll just finish this first. Then, I'll be right back. Ayan, so medyo na iba lang yung sa eyeshadow. Pinalitan ko lang siya. Yung glitter, nilagay ko na lang siya sa gitna. Tapos, nilagyan ko ng eyeshadow pa dito. Kasi parang hindi ko masyadong gusto yung kanina. Pero ayun nga, yung, yung shimmer shade, nilagay ko na lang sa gitna. I'm going to do the base. I'm done with my skincare. Now, I'll prime. Ang gamit ko ay yung BYS Hydrating Primer? Ano? Primer with Hydrating Pearl. So, lagay ko lang siya dito. Isang tip pala, kapag makapal na yung kilay nyo, I guess you can put eyebrow mascara na lang. Ipaano nyo na lang. Um, kung gusto nyo ng carved out brows, ganun, magpa-thread na, na lang kayo or i-shape out nyo na lang yung brows nyo. Kasi, baka pag naglagay pa kayo ng brow product, baka mas lalo siyang magmukhang thick sa camera. Nag-tight line na rin ako yung sa may dito. I am going to spot conceal and color correct. Um, it's not always necessary na mag-color correct or mag-spot conceal. Kapag kaya naman siya takpa ng foundation nyo, you can skip this step. But for me, I prefer to spot conceal and color correct. So, since I'm done spot concealing, now I will be putting on my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. The shade 128. Pagay ko lang siya sa mukha ko. Then, I'm just going to blend it all out. Tip! Para makatipid kayo sa foundation, para hindi kayo lagi naglalagay ng foundation sa leg nyo, kapag magsiswatch kayo, magswatch kayo sa neck. Kung ano yung pinaka-close na color sa neck nyo, kung ano yung nag-match, kung ano yung nag-fade, yun yung gamitin nyo. Yun yung bilhin nyo para hindi na kayo lagi naglalagay ng foundation sa leg. Kaya lang naman naglalagay ng foundation sa leg is kapag um, lighter yung kulay ng foundation sa sa neck. Pero kung kakulin na kakulin niya na talaga, there's no need to put foundation. Also, kapag gagamit kayo ng concealer sa if you're going to carve out your eyebrows and you're going to use concealer, make sure that it's not super light. It's not like five shades lighter than your skin tone. Kasi makikita yun sa camera. So make sure that your concealer Kapag nag-carve out kayo ng eyes, it's well blended, it's not so it's not super light. Siguro two shades or one shade one shade lighter is okay. Now I'm moving on with concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Hindi na ako maglalagay ng as in maraming concealer, yung sakto lang kasi nag-pot conceal naman ako kanina. Hindi na ganoon ka dark yung under eyes ko. I'm done highlighting my under eyes. I won't cream contour. Parang hindi ko masyadong trip mag cream contour for this look. So, I'm just setting my under eyes with powder. I'm not baking it. Then I'll be using a fluffy brush to set my whole face. Now I'm going to be contouring. I'm using my favorite, the Our Colors Shade and Glow Duo. Then next, I'll be contouring my nose. Pag big nose contour kayo, make sure to blend it well kasi baka sa picture magmukha siyang super harsh. So you really need to blend your nose contour as well as sa other parts of your face whenever you contour. Or kapag naglalagay lang kayo ng blush, ng ano, blend. Blending is the key. Talagang i-blend yun lang ng i-blend. For now, we are going to go with blush. And kapag maglalagay kayo ng blush, medyo kapalan yun ng very slight because blush fades away whenever kapag flash photography. So, medyo kapalan yun lang ng very, very light. Huwag naman yung, ano, super pink ng face nyo, pero huwag din super light. So, yun siguro saktuhan lang. We're going to highlight. Kapag... Ngayon, itong highlight kasi. Sometimes, too much highlight doesn't look good on camera. So, subtle lang yung highlight natin ngayon. Yung healthy glow lang ganun. Lagyan ko na rin yung bridge of my nose. 
So, ayan. Tapos na tayo mag-highlight. Di ba nga sabi ko kanina, maglalagay tayo ng eyeshadow sa baba ng mata natin. I'm going to use a white eyeliner sa may waterline ko para magsmukha pang buhay yung mata ko. But, it's up to you if you want to use a white eyeliner or a nude eyeliner or a black eyeliner. I am going to put sa my outer part lang ng mata ko. Diyan lang. Dito lang sa may outer part para magmukha lang buhay yung mata ko. Then, after that, we are going to be putting this, this color sa my lower lash line. And make sure to connect this sa my upper part. Yan. After that, Lalagay ko tong darker color. Ito. Sa may outer part. Ayan. Dyan lang. Dito lang. Dito lang sa may outer part ng mata. Then, same sa kabila. And it's all done. I'm going to be right back. Lalagay ko lang yung eyeshadow ko and mag-lipstick lang ako. Papahingin ko muna yung camera ko kasi malalobat na siya. So, I'll be back. Ayan. So, I'm back. I'm done doing this um, graduation makeup look. Alam niyo ba? Story time. Nung senior high ako, ang, nung nag-take kami ng graduation look, nagsistart pa lang kasi talaga ako nun mag-makeup. Doon pa lang ako nag-start na mag-makeup sa school. Ganon. All my... <laughs> life. Nung simula, ano, nung high school talaga, hindi ako pala makeup. Kasi bawal din naman makeup. Hindi ako nagme-makeup noon. Hindi ako nag... Kahit pulbo. Minsan nagpupulbo ako, pero kapag as in super feeling ko, super haggard ako. Pero kahit pulbo, di ako nagpupulbo. Um, nagme-makeup lang ako kapag may mga performances kami, kapag may mga show lang kami, ganon. Pero pag sa school talaga, hindi ako nagme-makeup kahit lip tint or ano. Tapos, nung nag-senior high ako, nung grade 12, doon lang talaga ako nag-start mag-makeup kahit nung grade 11. Hindi ako masyado nag-makeup. I mean, hindi talaga ako nag-makeup, pulbo lang. Tapos, nung nag-grade 12 ako, tsaka lang ako nag-makeup kasi wala lang, gusto ko. <laughs> wala Nag-start na ako mag-makeup kasi nakita ko din yung mga tao nag-aayos araw-araw. Tapos, ako parang haggard-haggard. So, nagsimula na ako mag-ayos, nag-makeup na ako. Tapos, yun yung start na nauso yung Instagram brows, yung on sleek brows. So, nung, ano, nung graduation pictorial, may mga makeup artists na nag, um, na nag-makeup. Pero ako, nag-makeup ako sa sarili ko. So, ang nangyari, hindi talaga ako nanood doon, hindi ako nanood ng kahit anong tutorial, ganun na, kung ano magandang makeup sa pictorial. So, ang ginawa akong brows, Instagram brows. Tapos, ang onti lang ng blush ko noon, tapos ano lang, brown eyeshadow lang, tapos mascara. Tapos, hindi ako nag-ayos ng buhok ko, um, pinaayos, nag-pinaayos ko doon sa makeup artist. Kasi, sagot naman nila yung hair and makeup, kasama na sa binayara namin. So, hair na lang inayos nila, ganun. So, ako, <laughs> nakita ko yung yearbook. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> hindi ko nagustuhan, hindi ko nagustuhan yung itsura nung uh, makeup ko. Yung eyeshadow, siguro, pwede na. Pero kasi nakukulangan ako, nabubuhay talaga yung mata kapag may false eyelashes. The false eyelashes that I'm wearing is soft natural lashes lang. Hindi siya yung pang full glam. mag insert ako ng picture kahit Ayaw kong ipakita kasi yun, sangit talaga eh. <laughs> so, ayan. Ito yung picture nung graduation pictorial namin nung senior high. Yung contour ko, grabe, kitang-kita sa camera. So, yun ko binasa itong makeup look ko. If I were to do my makeup look again, ito yun. I would put more blush, medyo subtle na contour lang. Tapos, I would put false eyelashes, tsaka... Yung kilay ko, hindi na Instagram brow. So, ayun, ito. This would be my makeup look if if I will be having a graduation pictorial. So, isang taon na lang naman. Ganto na, ganto na yung magiging makeup ko. So, I'm done with this video. Comment down below what videos you would like to see next. This is the end of my video. Bye! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell notification down below to get notified whenever I post. And follow my social media accounts. My Facebook is Trish Contreras and my Instagram is Trish underscore Contreras. Bye guys! Till my next video!